A case of deadly neglect. A Monroe County man under arrest after his wife dies from something that police say could have been prevented. Topping our news at 5.30, a quick warning because this story may be uh, disturbing to some. That 61-year-old woman died from sores that became extremely infected. Yeah, and now her husband has been charged in her death. Rod Maloney is following this story for us tonight. And Rod, the husband had been her caretaker. Is that right? Yeah, this is, this is very very sad business here because what we have here is a situation where a husband and wife who were told by all accounts loved each other. Now the wife was morbidly obese, had diabetes and was incontinent and he was trying to take care of her. But in the end she died in his care. 67 year old Robert Shelton unemotional at his Monroe arraignment today is charged with involuntary manslaughter. Michigan State Police arrested him last Thursday on charges stemming from his wife Deborah's death last June. Michigan Health and Human Services called state police to investigate the living conditions in the Shelton's Carlton Mobile Home and found a situation making them physically ill. They backed out, called EMTs, who brought her to Prometica Hospital, where she died a few days later from complications brought on by infection. MSP Lieutenant Tony Cuevas describes a terrible scene. To have an abscess that large with live insects inside of it shows a basically someone didn't someone neglected this person to the point uh, where they ended, ended up uh, right. passing away while the Wayne County Medical Examiner called Deborah's death a homicide Shelton's neighbors who did not want to be identified on camera say he did everything he could for her it shouldn't be like this it's all I know they those two loved each other like you won't believe and he took care of her better than anybody else would ever took care of her. He went farther than anybody else would ever went as far to taking care of her. But state police say Mr. Shelton allowed Deborah's health to quickly deteriorate in the last month of her life. She was at a nursing care facility, okay, and when she was released from the nursing care facility, she was released to Mr. Shelton. And she was in good health at that time. She had her diabetes in check, and she was released to the care and custody of her husband. Mr. Shelton goes back to court in about 10 days time for his first hearing as a preliminary exam about five days later. Again, a very, very sad case. Back to you. And Ron, I know this caretaker role can be a lot for our loved ones to take on. What, what should you do if you find yourself in that same situation if you're a spouse? Well, what the Michigan State Police are saying is that he should have called for help from Health and Human Services, that there are services like free mattresses and the like, and that they could have come in and helped him in this case instead of him facing 15 years in prison. Oh, just so, so sad. All right. Rod, thank you.